I was going to show my cousins one trick. Now it seemed that the whole street had turned out, waiting for me to perform some kind of show. Then, just behind me, the garden shed banged open, and out of it exploded. What? I didn't even know if it was human at first. All I could see was a sparkly blue cape swirling past me with a spangly top hat on top. It threw out its arms. It boomed. Whoever you are, whatever you are. Prepare to be astounded. A hand shot out from somewhere inside the cloak. It was holding a big shiny pencil. I said, Nathan? He didn't even look at me. He just pointed at me with the pencil and said, Please give a great big Tobago Avenue welcome for my fabulous assistant, Magical Minnie. I growled, I am not your assistant. Whatever, tell them I'm not your assistant. People were beginning to laugh. They obviously thought this argument was part of the show. She's not my assistant, she's, what are you? I taught you your first trick. If anyone's an assistant, it's you. And what are you wearing? A cape. I'm a magician. Magicians wear capes. People were still laughing. It was Dad who shouted, let the magic begin. I glanced at Nathan and started to move the pots. Nathan pushed back his top hat, waved his wand and then joined in. Four hands moving plant pots made the whole thing seem even more dizzying. Even I lost track of the hands and two of them were mine. The clapping started straight away before we'd even finished. And when we got to the bit where all the onions seemed to have disappeared, Nathan stopped and said, maybe under here. And he lifted the last plant pot. This was a really big plant pot. The kanji used for small trees. There should have been an apple under there, but no. Instead, there was Queenie the rabbit, happily chewing on an onion. I almost dropped the pot in shock. How did she get there? That only made it even more magic. I mean, if something happens that even the magician is not expecting, that must be magic. And everyone could see I was not expecting a rabbit. The audience went wild, especially Brody, who jumped up and yelled, who said you could do magic with Queenie? Queenie is a very nervous, nearly prize winning, massive rabbit. But before I could say any more, I swear, Queenie got up on her haunches and took a little bow. She was loving it. She was a performer. The crowd went even crazier. Put her right back now, said Brody. Plant pot down over Queenie very suddenly. Do not put my rabbit in a plant pot, yelled Brody. And he barged up to the magic table and picked up the plant pot. But there was nothing there because Queenie had vanished. And now so must I.